Brought to you by wikivd.com Kadhi Family The Kadhi Family is an Arab-Canadian family noted for their ties to Osama bin Laden and connections to Al-Qaeda. Zainab Kadhi Zainab Kadhi is the eldest daughter and first child of Ahmed Kadhi a prominent Egyptian-Canadian citizen noted for charitable work among Afghan refugees in Pakistan and Afghanistan and suspected of being a terrorist and Al-Qaeda member. Two of her younger brothers Abdurrahman and Omar were held by the United States as enemy combatants in the Guantanamo Bay detention camp after being captured in Afghanistan in 2002. With her family she grew up in Pakistan and Canada, as they frequently traveled back and forth. Following a severe 1992 injury that left her father disabled, Zainab became a second mother to the younger children of the family. She was married and divorced three times and has a daughter. From her second marriage, she and her widowed mother returned to Canada in February 2005. Kada has since fought for the family members' legal rights to remain there. She has also worked for justice for her brothers. Abdullah Kada was detained in Pakistan and resisted extradition to the United States. He finally returned to Canada in 2005. Abdurrahman Kada was also detained, but he had claimed to have been working for the United States CIA when he was held as a detainee in Guantanamo Bay Detention Camp 2002-2003. In October 2010 her youngest brother Omar Kada pleaded guilty to charges in a plea agreement and was repatriated to Canada in 2012 to serve the rest of his eight-year sentence. On January 31, 2016 Michelle Shepard and Peter Edwards writing in the Toronto Star reported that Zainab had been apprehended in Turkey for a visa violation she now lives in Sudan with her husband and four children. Early life and education Zainab Kada was born in Ottawa, Ontario in 1979, the eldest daughter and first child of Maher El Samnar and Ahmed Kada, Egyptian-Canadian citizens. Her father was in graduate school. The family moved to Pakistan in 1985 where her father worked for charities assisting Afghan refugees after the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. The children went to school there and were also homeschooled by their mother. Zainab has five younger brothers, Abdullah Abdurrahman Abdul Karim Ishmael and Omar and a younger sister. In July 1995 her father arranged for the 15-year-old Zainab to marry Khalid Abdullah an Egyptian in December. Her mother began preparing an apartment for the couple in the family's house in Pakistan. On November 19, 1995 Ayman al-Zawahiri bombed the Egyptian embassy in Pakistan. Named as one of the conspirators, Zainab's fiancé Abdullah went into hiding. When police arrived eight days later to arrest her father on suspicion of involvement, Zainab grabbed his rifle and screamed at them, while her mother barricaded the door. Zainab later recalled having celebrated the engagement of her friend Umar al-Zawahiri at the girls' family house in an all-day party. Umana's father al-Zawahiri had knocked at Umana's door to ask the two girls to keep their singing and partying quiet as it was night time. Marriage and Family In October 1997 Abdullah resurfaced in Tehran and contacted the Kada family to reschedule the wedding. Kada agreed to take his family on a long vacation, which they ended in Iran. They said farewell to Zainab by then reluctant as she started a new life with Abdullah. Six months after the couple began living in a rented Tehran apartment, Abdullah phoned his father-in-law to report that Zainab was inconsolable at being separated from her family. The marriage was not working out and Zainab returned to live with her family. 
In 1999 Zainab was introduced to Yakub al Yemeni who had fought in Bosnia. He was better known as a wedding singer in Kabul, Afghanistan. Her father asked the boys of the family to vote on whether he should give his consent to the marriage and did so after Abdurrahman and Karim voiced their enthusiasm. The younger Abdullah and Omar abstained. The wedding was in Kabul. Both al-Zawahiri and Osama bin Laden attended. Zainab later explained that nobody was individually invited, and that word of mouth informed interested parties about the open invitation to their upcoming wedding. The couple moved into a separate wing of the Qadda household. The following year Zainab and her mother returned to Canada, for several months late in her pregnancy where she gave birth to a daughter named Safia. After returning to Afghanistan and introducing her new child to Rabia Hutchinson, Zainab was advised to take her daughter to a doctor. Safia was diagnosed with hydrocephalus and required surgery which Zainab decided would be better performed at a Canadian hospital. Her husband disagreed and insisted that a hospital in Lahore would be just as effective. When Zainab insisted on taking her daughter to Canada, Albar separated from her and left the household permanently. In late 2001, Ahmed Kader encountered Albar in Kabul. He advised him that he should either return to his wife and daughter or consent to a divorce. After receiving written reassurance from Zainab that she would not seek any form of restitution, Albar agreed to a formal divorce. Life in post-invasion Afghanistan In January 2002 Zainab took Safiya and Abdul Karim to Lahore for a stay at the hospital, where her daughter needed medical attention. Her brother Abdullah later joined them, since he required surgery to remove cartilage from his nose. He disappeared later that year, as did their younger brother Omar not yet 16. She learned later that they were both being detained by the United States as enemy combatants at the Guantanamo Bay detention camp. In 2003 Zainab, her daughter and her mother stayed at a house in Burma, Pakistan for two days before their host grew wary of American jets overhead. They moved further into the mountains of Waziristan. Her father was killed in October 2003. Zainab moved to Islamabad where she lived for some time in a rented apartment with her daughter and younger sister. In her book Wanted Women Deborah Scroggins describes meeting Zainab while she was a house guest of Khalid Kalwaha in Islamabad, Pakistan in 2004. According to Scroggins, Zainab told her that the time she lived under the Taliban was the best five years of my life. Return to Canada Although her passport had been revoked by the Canadian High Commission in Pakistan after her father was alleged to be a terrorist, Kada returned to Canada on February 17, 2005 to be with her mother and help the legal defense teams of her brothers Abdullah and Omar. Zainab and her widowed mother Maha are both on passport control lists, meaning they will no longer be issued Canadian passports. This is due to the frequency with which they have reported losing their passports since 1999. When Zainab returned to Canada, security officials including Conrad Shouri met her at the airport bearing a search warrant. It was based on the statement that she has willingly participated and contributed both directly and indirectly towards enhancing the ability of Al-Qaeda. They seized her laptop DVDs, audio cassettes, diary and other files. The security officials said that through the computer files, they were able to determine the present locations of multiple Al-Qaeda veterans. Though they had no evidence to charge her, Zainab said she had purchased the computer second-hand seven months before her trip. After the expiry of the three-month limit on holding the items, the court granted the RCMP a one-year extension on June 18, 
On October 5, 2009 Isabel Tiatonio, writing in the Toronto Star reported on the extradition hearing for Zainab's brother Abdullah Kader. She wrote that Canadian officials had seized a hard drive from Zainab that had belonged to her father. Although Zainab has indicated a desire to one day return to Pakistan, her Canadian passport remained withheld for many years, rendering her unable to leave the country. According to Mark Stein, after the death of Osama bin Laden, Zainab Kader was disconsolate at the death of Osama and has adopted his mug shot as the photo for her Facebook page. Apprehension in Turkey According to a January 2016 report from Michelle Shepard and Peter Edwards in the Toronto Star, Zainab left Canada for Turkey in 2012 shortly after her brother Omar was returned to Canada to finish out his sentence. They reported that she married again for a fourth time and bore two more children. They reported that they had learned she was being held in Turkey. They noted that Turkey had been criticized by human rights workers for holding tens of thousands of individuals without charge. They noted that they didn't know why she was being held whether it was over a criminal concern or an immigration matter, and they didn't know whether she had been formally charged or was being held in extrajudicial detention. It was subsequently reported that her detention was due to a visa violation. The National Post reported Turkish diplomats in Ottawa would not comment on her case. After her release Kada moved to Sudan where she now lives with her fourth husband and four children. Advocacy in 2004 Zainab appeared in a PBS frontline documentary entitled Son of Al-Qaeda, during which she said concerning the September 11th attacks, most news stories reported only that she had supported the attacks mobilizing public sentiment against the family. Zainab has worked to arrange legal support for other Canadians accused of militant actions in the war on terror notably attending the bail hearings and preliminaries for the men and youths arrested in Toronto in 2006. Her presence has caused a stir in the media, while she maintains that many of the accused were friends of the family. In July 2008 clips from secret surveillance recordings at Guantanamo of Omar's first visit from Canadian officials were made public. The clips stirred controversy, as they showed Omar being pleased when he thought he was finally going to get help from Canadian officials, and they showed him weeping uncontrollably when he realized these Canadian officials were security officials, interested only in helping the CIA exploit him as an intelligence source. Global TV interviewed Zainab and her mother who described being devastated by Omar's distress. In October 2008 Zainab began an 18-day hunger strike on Parliament Hill where she hoped to draw attention to the government's inaction in bringing her brother Abdur Amin back to face trial in Canada. Her brother Omar Kada was released to Canadian custody at the end of 2012. In 2014 he was moved to a medium security prison and released in May 2015. On July 4, 2017 an unnamed government source leaked that the Canadian government would apologize and pay C$10.5 million in compensation to Kader. Location Ahmed Kader went to college in Canada where he met and married Mahar El Samna. They moved to Pakistan in 1985 to work with Afghan refugees following the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in the 1980s. In 1992 the family returned to Canada and lived near Blore, Dundas following an incident in Afghanistan that left the father Ahmed disabled and needing rehabilitation. The family later left and returned to Pakistan. In 1995 Ahmed Kader was arrested on suspicion of being involved in the bombing of the Egyptian embassy in Pakistan, but was later released. 
During this time the family stayed at Nazim Jihad, the home of Osama bin Laden in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. They stayed at the compound the following year during the father's absence. The family claims they stay two days while the FBI maintains they stayed for a month. The family subsequently moved to the Kart Parwin neighborhood of Kabul and lived there. From 1999-2001, the Kadhas were registered as operators of a Canadian charity and eventually did their work out of their home. Following the invasion of Afghanistan in October 2001, the family joined a convoy leaving Kabul to travel towards Gardas. They later discovered that their intended residence had been bombed. The family then traveled to an orphanage that Ahmed Kader had run. They eventually moved in with a Pashto family in a hut in the mountains where Ahmed visited monthly. Controversy in 2002 Omar Kader was captured in Afghanistan and was detained at the Guantanamo Bay detention camp for approximately 10 years. His brother Abdurrahman Kader had been arrested and worked as an undercover informant with the CIA while at Guantanamo and later continued to work undercover in Bosnia. Ahmed Kader was killed in 2003 near the Afghanistan border by what has been described in various sources as Pakistan security forces or a U.S. drone. On April 9, 2004, Mara and Abdul Karim used the family's savings to return to Canada. The politicians Stockwell A. Bob Runciman and John Canis were among those in a public outcry calling for the CAD citizenship to be revoked and for the pair to be deported. Others suggested it was unfair to revoke citizenship from people who held views contrary to the government in majority. Some Canadians complained that the Cadders had taken advantage of Canada, living off its social services while decrying it as a morally corrupted country. Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty dissented, stating that the province would recognize the family's right to Ontario Health Insurance Plan medical coverage and to be treated like any other Canadian family. In 2005, following the oldest daughter Zainab's return to the country, Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer Conrad Shoury said the entire family is affiliated with Al-Qaeda and has participated in some form or another with these criminal extremist elements. A noted friend of the family former Pakistani Air Force officer and ISI agent Khalid Kawaha spoke in their defense, he said that they were being unfairly targeted by Canadian authorities because of a deference to the United States and Islamophobia. Since returning to Canada, the Kadi family has been described as poverty-stricken. In their 2008 report concerning Mahmoud Jabala, Canadian Security Intelligence Service stated that Omar and his older brother Abdul Karim attended terror training camps. In late October 2010, Omar Kadha pleaded guilty to charges against him in a plea agreement before a military commission at Guantanamo admitting to having received one-on-one -on -one terrorist training from an Al-Qaeda operative and that he threw the grenade that killed U.S. Sergeant Christopher Speer. He was sentenced to eight years imprisonment in addition to the time already served. In 2012 he was repatriated to Canada to serve the remainder of his sentence. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?